our thoughts are made up of electromagnetic sparks called chitakshana chit chitakshana in pali and chitakshana in sanskrit in the abhidhamma pitaka which says that i uh, every single thought form is made up of a series of such 17 sparks in the ordinary beings the sparks are electromagnetic in the enlightened ones the sparks are made of pure electricity magnetism leads to attachment and resentment magnetically attraction and repulsion we experience such magnetic activity as our liking and disliking both liking and disliking of a sensory experience is made up of or is based on our ignorance of the reality that we experience what we experience is not the objects outside our cells we can experience only the reflection of the object created in our mind every reflection looks real but actually not real but we de- get deceived by such illusions which look real we think that we are experiencing things and beings outside us but in the royta sutta buddha said the entire world that we experience is in our own body and mind within ourselves which in this field of body and mind that is about 6 feet in length according to buddha's word byam atta kalebare panya pemi sasanyammi samanike panya pemi lokancha the entire world is created within ourselves the entire world that we experience is created within ourselves even modern science has now discovered we cannot experience the reality of things and beings outside us because the capacity of our sense organs is limited our eyesight is limited our hearing is limited our smell is limited we cannot smell even what a dog can smell we cannot hear what a dog can hear the mind mind is sound waves we cannot see at night what a cat can see that means human sensory organs are limited in their capacity to experience the reality therefore our thoughts are made up of the ordinary thoughts thoughts of ordinary beings are made up of liking and disliking 
based on the ignorance of the reality of things. On the other hand, the thought forms of the enlightened are made up of pure electricity, free of mental magnetism, free of electromagnetism. Therefore, they are pure sparks of light. That is why Buddha has said in the on the page 18 of volume 1 in the Angdurkaya, Pabastar Midam Bikkave Chitta. Our original thought form that is the original spark is made of a pure electricity. But once we recognize with the help of our brain what we experience, electromagnetism comes in. That means if the experience is pleasant, we like it. If unpleasant, we dislike it. And both in liking and disliking, as I experienced earlier, there is the ignorance of the reality. We think that we are experiencing things and beings outside, as I mentioned earlier, but actually, as the Buddha says in the Rojtasa Sutta, we can experience only the mental images, illusory mental images created in our mind. They are created with the help of the memories retained in our brain called Manodhatu in Buddha's language. The liking, the magnetic liking, attraction, attachment is called Raga in Buddha's language. Disliking is called Dosa. And the ignorance that leads to such liking and disliking is called Moha. Enlightenment means the birth of the pure light that is created initially in all our thoughts. As I mentioned earlier, the first spark is pure of magnetism, just a light. That is why Buddha said, Prabhasana Vidambi Kvichitta. Tanchuko Agantiku Pakkilesi Pakkilito. Thereafter, Agantuka. It's foreign to it. Secondary. Not the initial. Thoughts come in, made up of liking and disliking. That is, made up of electromagnetism. In the enlightenment, enlightenment means the birth of light is called. Aloku the Padi by the Buddha in his first sermon called Dhamma Chakapotan Sutta. This light gets darkened. Dissolution by our ignorance called Avijja. That is why in the Padicham Pada. Buddha says, Avijja Pachya Sankara. Sankara are thought forms. The ingredients that go to form a thought is called Sankara. They get together to form a mental image. Mental images called Chitta Rupa are made up of Sankara. Sankara are the basic ingredients of the thinking process. In the Putujjana, the ordinary people, they are made up of electromagnetic sparks, as I mentioned earlier. Enlightenment means the dispelling of or the cessation of electromagnetism in our thought process. Once the magnetism is 
have sent in our mind, that means when we are enlightened, when our mind is free of liking and disliking and ignorance. Such a mind is called in Buddha's language, Vita Ragi, Vita Dosi, Vita Mohi. Free of liking, disliking and illusion. And that is the state of a Nibbana that the Buddha has defined in the Nibbana Sutta. It says, Raga koyo, dosa koyo, moha koyo, idam bhuchyati nibbana. Nibbana. Nibbana, the word, is free of bondages, not attached to anything. Here, the bondage, not only attachment, even detachment, both attraction and repulsion are related to the mental images that we are really ignorant of the real sense of such mental images. Nibbana is, the word Nibbana means, Bana means bondage. Ni is absent, no. Freedom from bondage, that is called emancipation. Mimukti in Pali. That means we do not get bound to our sensory experiences by realizing the reality of such experiences. As I mentioned earlier, what we experience is not the actual reality, but the reflection of that reality. That reality is also instant. Shena Bangura. Even the reality is made up of sparks, like Tik Takshana. Our experiences are made, experiences are thought forms. They are made up of Tik Takshana, sparks, that is born to die instantly, like a lightning. We can say there is a lightning or there is no lightning. It appears to disappear instantly. That is why Buddha said, our entire mind is full of mental images called Sankara. Visankara Gatam Chitta means the absence of such mental images. Mental images are illusions. That is why Buddha said in his enlightenment, Visankara Gatan Chitta, meaning in the literal sense, thinking process is. Our thinking is based on our mental magnetism that leads to our liking and disliking and ignorance. Enlightenment means the freedom from liking, disliking and illusions of our mind. And what we experience thereafter is there's nothingness. Void. Sunyato. Sunyato is a word used in the Adaya Sutta on page 366 of uh, Kudaka Nikaya to mention what enlightenment experience but it's called Nibbana. It is void and it has no object of sensation. It is not a sensory object. It is beyond sensation. It is beyond sensory experiences. That is why it is called Atakkavachara. Nibbana is not a thought form. All thought forms are illusions. They are only mental images. The actual reality is Nibbana that we have to discuss in detail later. But for the moment, we have to understand the basic reality 
that our thought forms are made of electromagnetic sparks. That is why we like certain thought forms, dislike certain thought forms and get illusion by all thought forms without knowing the actual reality behind it. The reality is that they are all illusions. That is why in Hinduism the entire world is called, the entire world that we experience is called Maya, not an actual reality. It's a mirage, Maya. It is based on this mirage, Maya, illusion, that we are engaged in thinking by liking, disliking things that have to be real, that appear to be real, but actually not real, without knowing the actual reality. Enlightenment means the realization of the actual reality of things and beings. And it is not a thought form. It is an experience, not of the mind. Mind can experience only mental images. It is not a mental image, Nibbana. That is why Buddha said in Ajada Sutta, Hati Bhikkave Ajatam Abhutam Akatam Asankata, referring to Nibbana in the Ajada Sutta at page 366 of Kuddhaka Nikaya. That state of Nibbana has to be discussed in detail later subsequently.